You must come and live with us. But we cannot live with you. You're, you're different. You've got no feelings. Feelings? Emotions, love, pride, hate, fear. Have you no emotions, sir? It's falling to bits. The end of Monday. Hello and welcome back to the History of Series. Today we will finally be covering the original variant of the Cybermen, the progenitors if you like, the Cyber Mondasians, natives to the planet Mondas. Being the first iteration, surely their story is the longest, right? Well, let's find out. Most sources indicated that Mondas was the birthplace of the Cybermen. Indeed, Bernie Summerfield once corrected a student of hers who believed the Cybermen originated on Telos. However, the Cybermen were examples of parallel evolution. The so-called Mondasian Cybermen, like all Cybermen, did not need to be native to Mondas to arise, as Cybermen tended to develop wherever human life was. Therefore, Mondas was only one cyber homeworld, but is remembered as the original. According to one account, the Cybermen were originally an aquatic species known as the Vord. The Vord were fused with bodysuits which telepathically linked the entire race. Through experimentation with a world shaper, they quick evolved their bodysuits into full-fledged cybersuits. With their change, they renamed their home planet of Marinus, designated as Planet 14, to Mondas. However, the Twelfth Doctor later cited Mondas, Marinus, and Planet 14 as places where the Cybermen rose on separate occasions, as he claimed that the Cybermen were a product of parallel evolution. Complementing the events of Mondas' sister planet, Earth, the Lizard Kings and Mondasian Sea Devils rose to power. They used their technology to augment Mondasian apes into ape servants. A Cyberman from the near future came to Mondas through a cosmic cloud, and was captured by the Lizard Kings, who vivisected it and studies its technology. An ape servant was sent through the cosmic cloud to investigate, and then was then captured by the Cybermen of the future. After the constructors of Destiny manipulated a rogue planet into interfering with Mondas orbit, sending it on a journey to the end of space, the Empire of the Lizard Kings went into decline, with the Lizard Kings hibernating in the Dark Continent. The ape servants evolved into early Cyber Mondasians. They used leftover cyberfication technology to convert their regular Mondasians into Cybermen. They tamed the dinosaurs, created airships, and established cities. An ape servant from the past crashed on Mondas after coming through a cosmic cloud. It was captured and studied by the Cybermen, who sent through a scout to investigate, creating a bootstrap paradox. The Cybermen came into a series of conflicts with the remnants of the Lizard Kings. First, they accidentally reawakened Rylech. Then, they were attacked by Metamorphs. The Cybermen mounted an expedition to the Dark Continent to strike back against the Lizard Kings. Along the way there, they were attacked by Sea Devils. The expedition ventured deep into the Dark Continent, where they were obliterated by Golgoth. The Cybermen waged a 40-day war against Golgoth, which ended in the utter destruction of all involved. For the next 2,000 years, the Mondasians developed an Earth-like society on Mondas. When Corving collapsed into one of the ancient cyber conversion units, he was converted like the Cybermen of old. Sometime in Mondas's history, a Mondasian colony ship was launched from Mondas to pick up a group of colonists. One account suggested the ship's launch postdated the rise of early Cybermen on the planet proper, as the planet became uninhabitable. The early Mondasian Cybermen organised a mass exodus from Mondas, though the colony ship encountered by the Twelfth Doctor was crewed by non-converted humanoids. The Cybermen that arose on this ship would later be known as the Exodus Cybermen. When the ship nearly flew into a black hole, 20 engineers were sent from floor 0 to floor 1056 to reverse the rear thrusters, but as the ship was undergoing the effects of time dilation generated by the black hole, the engineers were unable to return, and so spent the rest of their lives on floor 1056. A thousand years later, the Mondasians' descendants inhabited a huge city on floor 1056, which had significantly degenerated over the centuries. After the Saxon master crashed his TARDIS on the floor, and ruled the city for a time, before being forced into hiding, the city's hospital began Operation Exodus, a mission to evolve the Mondasians of the floor into Cybermen to survive the journey to Floor Zero. 
The Cybermen started as the Patients, who escorted humans from the city to the hospital for conversion, and also travelled to the higher floors and captured any other humans on the colony ship for cyber conversion, including the remaining Mondasian crew on floor zero. During their development, the Master incorporated a number of functions into the Patients that would allow him to control them upon their full evolution into Cybermen, in a bid to use those that would arise as his personal army to conquer the galaxy. When the Twelfth Doctor landed on floor zero, his companion Bill Potts was shot and taken by some patients to floor 1056, and after being partially converted into a patient, Bill spent 10 years living in the hospital with the porter, Razor, until f being fully converted into a Mondasian Cyberman by Razor, revealed to be the Master. Two hours later, the Doctor and Nardole found Bill in the hospital's conversion theatre, before Missy and the Master confronted them. Shortly before being knocked out by the two Masters, the Doctor altered the Cybermen's definition of humanity to register lifeforms with two hearts as humans, causing the city to converge on the Time Lords. The group escaped on a shuttlecraft to floor 0507. After a Cyber Planner was created, the Master, Missy and Alet were detected on floor 0508, with the Cyber Planner sending out seven Cyber Neomorphs to capture them. However, after destroying the Cyber Lieutenant, Missy and Alet escaped to the floors by the Control Hub, generating a large rainstorm that when charged by the Master's laser screwdriver, destroyed the remaining Neomorphs. Two weeks after their arrival on 0507, the group found the floor's inertia lift entrances, but were forced to destroy an advanced Cyberman after Missy summoned one of the lifts. They began flying en masse towards the floor, and were fought by Nardole and the farmers who resided there long enough for an evacuation of the children to floor 0502. The Doctor and Bill stayed behind to continue the fight, and were ultimately successful. After igniting all the fuel beneath the solar farm, Bill managed to survive the destruction and was found through her tears by Heather, who used her powers as a creature of sentient oil to return Bill's human form and take the Doctor's near regeneration body to his TARDIS. Following the evacuation, Nardole defended the evacuees from the Cybermen near Daly until their conflict was sorted, although they were still attacked by Cybermats annually even after Nardole's death. About 2,000 years after the end of the previous Cybermondasian civilization, Mondas reached the zenith of its orbit away from Earth. By this time, Mondasian society was similar to that of 20th century Earth. According to one account, the surface of Mondas was inhospitable, meaning that all the Mondasians lived underground. However, the cult of Siva were able to survive the planet's surface. At some point, the Mondasians created the Central Committee of Mondas, by plugging 20 of their greatest thinkers into a computer and converted their police into Cybermen. Eventually, they constructed a propulsion system to pilot the planet, and augmented work crews to survive the harsh conditions of outer space when installing it. They were forced to remove their emotions, as the processing drove them insane. The cyber conversion succeeded, producing the first modern Cyber Mondasians. However, the drafted Cybermen's bodies would reject the implants, which would eventually kill them. Those flaws were corrected when the Fifth Doctor arrived on Mondas with his companion Nyssa, and a biological scan was done of him discovering an extra brain lobe that only Time Lords had. This feature was then recreated in the Cybermen, rectifying those flaws. Horrified at his unwitting part in the creation of the Cybermen, the Doctor destroyed the Committee, now the first Cyber Planner, by pouring wine into their nutrient vats, and reprogramming a swarm of Cybermats to feed off their electricity, killing them. His efforts were ultimately in vain, as eventually all Mondasians underwent forced Cyber Conversion. Early Cybermen supported the rule of Halvlad, who led Mondas through the war against Faria in the outer arm of the Mutter Spiral. 109 years later, most of the population had been converted. Zogron was one of the first Cybernauts to leave Mondas. During his pioneering of the first interstellar Cyber Empire, Zogron became stranded on AS4. While a large number of Cybermen stayed on Mondas, another group of Mondasian Cybermen known as the Faction left Mondas and headed for Planet 14. These Cybermen groups developed without connection to one another. As the original Cybermen were limited in numbers and were continually being depleted, they decided to invade Earth. Scout crafts were sent to find Earth's location. The first expedition to find Earth crash-landed in the mountains of Austria around 1873. However, due to the extensive damage sustained during the landing, they failed to report the location of Earth to cyber control on Mondas, which was 200 light-years away. The Eighth Doctor made sure that all cyber technology from the expedition, including the pilots, was destroyed, and the Cybermen's invasion was delayed by over a century. The Seventh Doctor and Ace fought Cybermen in Nevada, 1954, and ultimately repelled them. 
In 1970, the Cybermen attempted to disarm all of Earth's armies to take over the planet without any casualties. Three Cybermen landed in the English countryside in a rocket and began tunneling with a Cybermole. With the Mole, they stole the Doomsday Bomb from Earth's underground secret weapons store and used it to put the planet at ransom. The second Doctor, and his grandson John, walked down the tunnel and killed the Cybermen with ray guns before they could detonate. With Earth's most brilliant scientists gathered to witness the test flight of the Dart, Cybermen attempted to kidnap all of them to weaken Earth's military progress. The second Doctor worked with the US Air Force to destroy the Cybermen with spaceships, before the scientists could be taken. At some point during the 20th century, but prior to Mondas's return to Earth, the Cybermen of the faction attempted a separate invasion of the planet, which involved international electromatics. Another scouting party had been sent out, discovering several planets with lifeforms incompatible for upgrading before finding Earth. Caught in a time storm, their ship broke apart, with one pilot, Creel, falling to Edinburgh in the late 19th century, while his partner landed in 1925 Berlin. Now alone, Creel created a new variant of the Cybermen known as the Fourth Generation, with them remaining dormant for over a hundred years. The return of Mondas to Earth's solar system saw the second recorded attempt at cyber invasion of Earth, though the Second Doctor believed it to be the first. This occurred in December 1986, the 1990s, or 2000, but very likely 1986. In 1984, the Sixth Doctor left a damaged cyber leader from the far future on Mondas, where it was considered faulty by its ancestors and taken to be reprocessed. The First Doctor met an advanced force of Cybermen near Snowcap Base in Antarctica. This force was to prepare for Mondas' return to the Sol system, and to drain Earth's energy for the Cybermen. Mondas absorbed too much energy, and was destroyed, as were the Cybermen on Earth who depended on Mondas for power. Archivist Higelia believed that the destruction of Mondas marked the extinction of the Mondasian cyber subspecies. Some Cybermen did survive the destruction of Mondas, and migrated to Lonsis, with their designs now appearing to resemble that of the cyber faction. The cyber ships left over from the invasion were examined and exploited by humans, allowing them to make advances in space travel, leading Sarah Jane Smith to describe the return of Mondas as both the greatest disaster and most astonishing blessing ever to have happened to the human race. In the 2000s, Creel reactivated and raised his new generation of Cybermen, who overthrew him. The Ninth Doctor subsequently managed to defeat the Cybermen of Creel's fourth generation. A Cyberman with the head of a Mondasian and the body of a Telosian was found by scrap collectors Flotsam and Jetsam. Shortly after the Fourth Doctor landed on their ship, the Cybermen reactivated, kidnapped Jetsam, and stole the TARDIS. The Cyberman used the TARDIS to visit the site of the crashed command ship of the ancient Mondasian Cybernaut Zogron on AS4, but before the Cyberman could force Jetsam to restore Zogron, the Doctor and Flotsam landed on AS4 and destroyed the Cyberman. Flotsam and Jetsam stayed on AS4 and salvaged technology from the remains of Zogron's fleet. They discovered a troop ship full of well-preserved hibernating Cybermen. The two spent the next four months reprogramming Cybermen and selling them as butlers, bus conductors, and politicians. This attracted the attention of the Brotherhood of Logicians, who sent two agents to AS4 to collect the remaining Cybermen. The fourth Doctor returned to AS4 and prevented the Cybermen from fully awakening, and getting off the planet, packing their ship with explosives and blowing them up. After a cyber ship crashed on Mirabilis 3, a surviving cyber leader used microscopic cybermats to convert the people on the planet into a breed of cybermen known as the Suits, as well as renaming the planet New Damson, an anagram of New Mondas. These cybermen resembled the Cyber Mondasians, and spoke similarly to them. After Jenny and Noah defeated the cyber leader, the cybermats were perched, and the Suits were restored to normal. A historical account of N-Space postulated that the Cybermen descended from the Cybermondasians encountered the Cybermen from Peace World. The historical account further theorized that these two factions had unified and become the Siberiad. In an alternate timeline where Rassilon gave a Cyberman colony at the end of the universe the means to conquer all of history, three Cybermondasians intercepted and attacked the First Doctor in 1963, on the day he was supposed to leave Earth with his granddaughter and her school teachers. This timeline was ultimately aborted, returning history to its original course. In another alternate timeline, in which a successful Wotan attack paved the way for World War III, the Cybermondasians successfully occupied the Arctic in their 1986 invasion. They came to agreements with the South African forces fighting the British, supplying them with cyber technology and weaponry that gave them an advantage. The First Doctor averted this timeline by halting the world on its road to war in 1972, and later averted its causes altogether by defeating Wotan in 1966.
And that is the story of the Cybermondassians, one born out of complete desperation on multiple occasions, the Mondassians being victims of hardship all because their planet was upside down. With the Cybermondassians now being covered, we have completely covered every core cyber subspecies that has appeared in the main show, but there are more obscure variants that don't quite fit into any of the main categories, so I may do a video covering everything else if that's what people want to see. But anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed then make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below as it really helps out the channel. But as always, thanks for watching.